Okay, next up I want to talk about a type of data visualization that's a little bit different. In this case we're talking about heat maps that are built using cell formatting as opposed to traditional chart types. So heat maps in this sense are commonly used for visualizing trends or relationships simply using color scales. So some good examples might be accident rates by time of day or day of week, which is what we're looking at here on the bottom screenshot or average temperature by city by month, which we're looking at here on the top screenshot, or anything really like average sentiment by hashtag. Anything that has values that can be captured with some sort of a color scale could potentially be visualized with a heat map. So a couple pro tips here. The first, use intuitive color scales. So things like red to green when you're talking about bad or good outcomes. Uh, or red to blue if you're talking about hot and cold. And one little tip here that I actually just recently learned is a really nice custom formatting tip to hide the cell values. So that way the formatting will still be based on the value, but you won't show the actual number in the cell. And that's accomplished with a custom formatting rule defined by three semicolons. And I'll show you that in just a second. The second pro tip, you can use data validation, so drop down menus, uh, and cell formulas to create dynamic heat maps based on user entered values. Basically what I mean is that you don't have to hard code the numbers within a heat map. You can use statistical functions like sumifs or countifs to make that data range dynamic so that as a user changes particular inputs, the heat map adjusts accordingly. So you can create these beautiful living breathing heat maps all within Excel. So let's open up the Excel workbook and take a look. So on the heat maps tab, you'll see average temperature data for 10 different cities from January through December. Now this is a great candidate for a heat map because it will allow us to very quickly, very powerfully visualize trends using only colors. So really simple in terms of implementation. All I need to do is select that data array from C4 through N13 and instead of going into my insert menu and looking for a chart, I'm actually going to take a different route. I'm going to go into the home menu and drop into my conditional formatting options. Now here I've got this built-in color scale setting where I can choose a number of stock color scales. So for instance, green, yellow, red, or red, yellow, green. This one's pretty good. It shows the higher values in red, the lower values in green but there's actually a better one here that serves my purpose, which is this one here. So I like the blue to red because it really gives that hot, cold kind of vibe without any customization necessary on my end. So I'm gonna use this as my starting point. And already you can start to see how quickly these visual stories and these trends start to emerge simply by introducing the element of color. Now the second pro tip here, if I select that data range, right click format cells here's that little custom formatting rule that I alluded to earlier where if I go into my custom option all the way at the bottom of this category list and under type I'm going to delete the zero and just type three consecutive semicolons that's a little special custom formatting rule that actually makes the numbers invisible so they're still there and the conditional formatting is still based on the values, but the user doesn't see them. So that's a great way. If the user doesn't need to actually see numerically what the temperature was, you just want to visualize the trends, that's a great custom formatting rule to use. Now, just to point out some options here, if I select this array again, and let's say I want to choose a slightly different custom color palette for this color scale, it's very easy to do. I can just go into Manage Rules, select the rule, click edit. Now let's say for the low value, I want this different shade of blue. I can just hit OK and apply and OK and there you have it. So totally custom and a really, really powerful yet simple way to tell a story with some color scales and conditional formatting.